That night, the show went crazy long. I want to say, I mean, the, the fine. I'm st- I'm, I got to have a GoFundMe for the fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that keeping I, you on the I, road, huh? That, yeah, it's going to keep me busy. Uh, yeah, Dodger Stadium is no joke. You go past that certain hour mark, you're going to pay union fees, and it's it's pretty bad. Can I but ask you, what did you pay? I know it, you probably it was t- oh, it's over six figures. Over 100 racks? Oh, yes. Big Boys Neighborhood, your big interview back up in here. Stadium yep. Fluffy, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yes, Netflix. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. This is when my man shut down, shut down mm. Dodger Stadium, man. And it was a beautiful, beautiful event, man. I do want to get into some when was the last time. Gabriel Iglesias, when was the last time you stole something? Ooh. Does candy count? Yes. Well, and I don't even know if it's stealing more so than like I, I saw it like on a table in a like – like no one had, there was no name on it. Right, and right. I was just like, no one's gonna eat that Snickers. I'm just looking around the room. <laughs> uh, I don't, and I don't know if it's like a plant. Like maybe right, somebody yeah. like is recording it. Like, got him. Like, yeah, we, we got his ass. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a candy bar on the table. And really? I'm like, just okay. Yep. And there was nobody there to ask. You never walked out with like a monitor from one of the venues or anything like that? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Not. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So you said last time, the last yeah. thing I stole was a candy bar that was All just right. in a room, but and you, I don't even know if that's. Steal, but it wasn't mine, so the, hey, I, took, I took the camera. See how God works? It was right there, nice. right? <laughs> um, all right, so there was this venue in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the green room that they provided for us was very nostalgic looking. Like It didn't look like any regular green rooms. Most green rooms are very just basic. You know, It's mm-hmm. a basic couch with just no pillows. It's just a dry room, and then here's your whatever, your sodas or waters and stuff. But this room was pimped out really nice. And I remember when I sat on the couch, there was these real cool fuzzy pillows. And I'm like, oh, these pillows are so freaking cool. And I kept, pe- like, I was petting the pillow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was petting the pillow because I had my dogs. It, 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 yeah, no, for real. It's like, it, like you'd pet it, and it's just like, oh my god, these are so cool, you know. And I remember at the end of the night, the uh, um, the lady who's in charge of the ta- talent backstage, uh, she goes, "Is everything okay?" I go, "Yeah, you got some cool stuff back here." She goes, "Well, you know, hey." Uh, she goes, "Well, you're welcome to whatever you like." And I, I took that as like, "Go ahead and steal these pillows." Right, right, right. And, <laughs> You know, because I kept saying, oh, thanks for all the sodas and the waters and everything. And, you know, like, we'll take whatever you like. Right. And, I, wow. and I'm like, oh, you said that to the wrong person. Yeah. So, you know, you know, she didn't mean them damn pillows. Like, so, oh, OK. All right. So I still have the pillows. Uh, I took the pillows and they're in my uh, my conference room. And so since then, I went back to that same venue and I got drunk that night and I saw the entertainment person and I said, I have a confession. Mm-hmm. And I told her. I said, I just want you to know I stole the pillows last time I was here. I took the pillows. And she's like, oh, my God. We were wondering what happened to those pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, that was me. I'm sorry. I, I took them. I'm sorry. If you need me to pay for them. She goes, no, that's hysterical, blah, blah, blah. And then she winds up uh, bringing me towels. She goes, Uh-oh. we got these towels. And before you steal them, you could have them. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. So hey, that's, man. It's the running joke. Most nowhere. of my towels at the house come from other places. They say Hilton. Or- yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and if you know how to do a tuck and sew, you won't see the Hilton You'll part. never see it. When was the last time you went grocery shopping last time i went grocery shopping hmm i really got to think about that one I, I i don't um uh, and mainly because of covid covid's what killed everything because you know i didn't i didn't want to go out i wasn't sure like you know i wasn't sure who was going to get sick who wasn't going to get sick who's going to mm-hmm. die from this who's not going to die from this so all of my uh things that i got were from my my staff. My staff would go out and go shopping. They're like, right. okay, Gabe needs cheese. He needs tortillas. He needs soda. He needs water. Very basic. Right. You know, and so I don't, I wouldn't go out. Damn. And, so, and so I haven't been to um, an actual like grocery store in, in some time. Man, um, we gonna I, go, I go. I go to more gas stations than grocery stores. We're going to go to get, uh, shopping one day together. We're going to go shut it down. We're going to shut it down. Wacko, you come Go, go hit a grocery it. warehouse or yeah, a, a, yeah. a. Yeah, we're going to hit a Costco. Hit a trader, oh, Costco, yeah. Bro. I miss Costco. <laughs> I miss Costco. A Costco is always the best. You show up, it's like a nightclub. You got to show your ID. And they're like, you're good. You know? And then you first thing you, you, you see gonna, is electronics, TVs, you and stuff. Eat that? You get the samples mm-hmm. over here. And then they, they have like the outdoor furniture. And the, for some reason, outdoor furniture at Costco is so comfortable. And so yeah, I go, man. And I just sit in chairs and I'm like, this is the rest area. Oh, you know my life. You know my life. When was the last time you went to the DMV? Ooh, um, I want to say that was about three, three maybe four years. Oh, it was definitely before COVID. Um, to take my son to go get his uh, li- dr- dr- to go take his uh, driving test. 
to get his license. And so that was for him. For it, it was, so it, you it, don't it know was, when it was for him. But so, while I was there, right. you know, um, they give me a little bit of a concierge service at the DMV. Yeah, so I, I get to go through this back door and then yeah, I, man. I do all my tests and everything. And he was like, I would like to um, register these 50 VW buses, please. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I do so that? We, we, have a, we have a guy for that. <laughs> yeah, you, I know you got a guy. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you got pulled over by the authorities? Oh, okay. Um, so I was on my way to uh, Six Flags Magic. I was on my way to Six Flags Magic Mountain with my son and his friends, and I had just bought a Tesla, mm-hmm. and I was trying to show them how how uh, how much torque and how fast the Tesla was. This is before everyone knew, like, oh, electric cars are the fastest things out there off the line. And so I gunned it, and uh, I didn't see the cop. Oh. And woo, was it CHP? It was CHP, oh. but then. I started getting all cocky because I, when, we, when we stopped, I saw the officer get out, and it was like this young, like, like young Latino looking dude. And I go, my oh. demo, I got this guy. Yeah, I go, watch, watch. I go, don't worry, guys, we'll get out of this. And then he gets to the window, and I'm like, and I turned on the extra fluffy. I'm like, yeah. hi. Yeah, you know, smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling big, I, trying to get the dimples coming out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And he's like, license or registration. Oh. I'm like, uh, oh, here you go. Uh, go. With two tickets <laughs> in it. He'll get it right now. He'll get it right now. And the dude would not would not <laughs> acknowledge that it was me. Hey, man, is knew. Gabriel Iglesias on your license? Is yes. that legal? <laughs> That's what, yeah. Wowzers. Yeah. No, 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 no. It, oh, and, I, and I feel out now that I need to show it. <laughs> wow. Pass it around. Pass it around. Man. Gosh, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. So, my, yeah. so hey, he, he did not acknowledge that it was me. And then I didn't want to say, I, the last thing I want to say is, you know who I am? Right, right. I don't, I don't want to say that. But you got to have one. people in the car that do that. I was trying to yeah, show off to true. my son's right. friends. <laughs> and I think that that but was you a know valuable it is lesson. Too, it's CHP. Mm. Good luck on that. I remember one time I got pulled over and I got the ticket. And when she was handing it back to me, she said, I love your show. I listen all the time. But gave me the ticket. And I was like, all right, there it is. Mm. Boy, when I left off all oh, uh, under yeah. my breath, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, you, were, you, you were using that red button in your <laughs> mind. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man, that is crazy. All right, when was the last time you got starstruck? Ooh, let's see. When did I get excited? I, I saw somebody recently. Can I have that red card right nice. there? I don't quite know what so, it is, but can I have that one? It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a Bank of America yeah. ATM card. Yeah, can I now, have that one? You really don't. Oh, okay. uh, so my business manager has been trying to get me to close this account for oh, about 10 years now. This is my original bank account that I opened up before I, I got into comedy. This is when I, I still had my oh, day job Lord. at, at uh, the cell phone company. And... You know, I've, I've since then got businessman. You know, she's opened up uh, different accounts for different, you know, uh, entities and stuff like that. But I've always kept this one because uh, I told her, I said, I don't know how much I have in the other accounts. I go, but I know if the world ends tomorrow, I know exactly how much to live <laughs> right, off of. Right. I can go pull out this $16,000 I got <laughs> right. in this Bank of America account. Love like, it. I know I'm good. Because, you know, I tell people that that's old money. That's old money from when I still had my normal day job. That money that's in there came from wow. that from that job that I hadn't touched. And I just saved it up and saved it up and saved it up. So this is, uh, I keep that with me just in case. Oh, you know, bro. That's yeah, you, you're not going to close I ne- that I never account. Really, I never, no, I will never close that yeah. account, even though she wants me to. And I'm like, mm-mm. And Give it to me. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias, man. We did that. I love to say we. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we. Hey, man, let me tell you. When you did Dodger Stadium, bro, when you first announced it, that was not, I know that was a win for you. But there were so many people, so many of us, that felt that win as well. Could you tell how many people were proud of you for the hard work and what you were able to do at State, uh, not State, but at Dodger Stadium? Uh, it, you know, walking out on that stage that night, uh, I knew that I was going to get like emotional and worked up because mm-hmm. of you know what it what it was and everything that went into that. But they got me in the first 30 seconds. They made me cry in the first 30 seconds because just the way, they, you know, the energy and just, it felt like a, a huge homecoming. It yeah, felt like, it, like you said, we did it. And that's the first thing I said, we did it. Because I know that something like that is not something one person can pull off. Right. That took years of just, you know, shows and relationships and, and just growing to get to that point. And I felt like it was a victory for everybody. Amen. I felt like, you know, because even at the end when it, when it was over, Nobody left. Nah, I man. stayed on that stage and, and and hung out and partied for like an you extra hour. You just came here. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just I just left. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey man, but it was just. I'm telling you, man. Like I love watching. First off, thank you for allowing me to get on stage as well. And that is that was huge for me, just being from LA. And this is your moment, and you sharing that moment with so many of us, and being able. And and it's crazy because 
I tried to do like a around the corner like peek to see what it looked like, but you never knew what it looked like until you started walking down that catwalk. And thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people there. And I'm talking about from eight to eighty. Not even eight years, eight months. It was little babies in there. <laughs> <laughs> but can you D- see depending on where you were at in the stadium, there were babies being made. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Could you see that? Could you see what was going on from where you were standing when you were doing your show? From where I was standing, I could see the the you know the Dodgers name in the at the very back, and and I'm just like wow, you you'd see dots and specks, and it's it's insane to know that like woof, yeah, those are people. Hey man, as a kid, just being in L.A., no matter how many games you went to, you go to baseball games, you know, but it's crazy that so many tens of thousands of people got dressed like you were on their calendar. That was an event that people wanted to go to, and that's right at the house. Do mm-hmm. you get a hotel, or do you come from the house? No. Um, well, we had a tour bus. Okay. We, we had a whole, uh, basically, the, the parking lot where the pavilion's at, behind the pavilion, turned into our backstage area. So we yeah. had a bunch of tour buses, and we had a VIP area. We had, a, a you know, just the, the, the holding area for all the crew that was involved in the making of that. Mm-hmm. So. Most of the time, I just spent on the bus. I was there the whole day. Yeah. So there was no hotel room. We just stayed there, you know. Damn, bro. And you can tell, man, the, the catering in the back, that had to be handpicked. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Me and Jose, yeah. we were, it was. You it guys was, were it, moaning. You made it worth it. Hey, bro. <laughs> no, nah, man. Let me tell you, man. We were so tacky by the food that you had back <laughs> there, bro. And I was, I was like, man, this was handpicked. Everything back there was delicious and amazing. And we stayed back there. We love you. Oh, yeah. But we yeah. stayed back there for hours, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hours. What What did you have back there? Uh, well, I know in the, we had a special VIP area where, you know, uh, oh, some God. of the food you're talking about, I want to say like a, there was like four different kinds of tacos. There yes. was a corn station. So yes. if you wanted corn in the cup, oh, and then there was God. corn in the cup that's pimped out. So that if you wanted like, uh, you know, crushed up takis or, or, or hot Cheetos yeah, in your corn you. or, you know, yeah, and man. then, yeah, we had a yeah. birria station. Oh. We had a, a al pastor station. Like, I mean, we, we, we oh, went yeah. hard and all the different waters and stuff hey, man, like that. I remember my, my doctor, he said, where were you at? <laughs> You told your doctor I was there that night. He goes, "Oh yeah." I told him I was there <laughs> that night. I was there. So now, man, when we talk about a great live show at Dodger Stadium, and now everyone get a chance to see it, bro. Not just the ones that were there, but if we get a chance to watch it and say, "Hey, we were there at our house watching this," because now it's on Netflix. I think that was one of the greatest things is that people that were there are always going to be connected to that. Yes, and even though. That night the show went crazy long. I want to say, I mean, the the fine. I'm, st- I'm I gotta have a GoFundMe for the fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that keeping you on the I, road. Huh? That, yeah, it's gonna keep me busy. Uh, yeah, Dodger Stadium is no joke. You go past that certain hour mark, you're gonna pay union fees, and it's it's pretty bad. Can I but ask you what did you pay? I it, know you probably it was, t- oh, it's over six figures. Over a hundred racks. Oh yes. For us, I would have been like, hey, man, get some you know, of my old DVDs. Like, or, Ooh, I got to go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look at the time. Yeah, as soon as they flashlight me once, I would have been like, all right, thank you, guys. And <laughs> if, if it would have been any other night, right. that would have been the case. Like, there was one time I did a show in New York. I was at Radio City Music Hall, and they told me that if you go past a certain time, it's $25,000 automatically, one minute over that. Wow. One minute. And so I remember uh, my, my tour manager runs out on the stage, and he goes, you got 30 seconds to get off or pay 25000 It's on you. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. Good yeah. night. <laughs> Mid-joke. Yeah, yeah. Mid-joke. But I, I, I think the, yeah. the, the crowd heard, though, because I'd already gone over my set like two hours. And so the crowd got the show. <laughs> yeah. But they heard my tour manager say that. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I love you. But, you know, I got a, I got a car to pay for. Hey, I love that. It's like, and then when she, all right, thank you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the crowd understood. And you gave it. You gave everything. But what does it look like now? On Netflix, what's your total running time? The, because when we saw it live, it was six days. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And how, how long is the actual Netflix? Yeah, the, run? the show there that night was. Uh, first of all, I think we were supposed to start at seven o'clock, and then there was opening acts, and we had some special guests. Mm-hmm. And then by the time I hit the stage, I want to say it was close to nine, so it was already like two hours in. Um, we started late, and then by the time the full running time of my set was close to three hours wow. from the time that I hit the stage oh. to the time that I got off the stage. So it got cut from almost three hours to an hour and fifty five minutes, so almost two hours. So yeah. already it's still the longest, you know, <laughs> the longest special Netflix has put out. But uh, yeah, we had to trim off the celebration part. Were you nervous? 
Um, nervous, not for my set. Right. I was not nervous like, oh, I hope I perform okay. I was more nervous, is the equipment going to work okay? Because right. this, this is not my regular show. Mm. It's not the regular equipment that I take on the road for the arena shows. It's not my crew. It's not, you know, this right. is a stadium crew. It's a lot of people that are being brought in for this, and a lot of them are working on, you know, every stadium show is different. So whether it's Lady Gaga or whether it's, right. you know, whoever, you know, every show is different. And so you got to trust that, the people you put in charge to make this happen are going to deliver. So you got to worry about the sound, the light, because of how big it is. And then the stage, mm -hmm. it's a massive stage. Like even the people that, that produced the special, they had only worked on one other you know, special that was of that size. And that's Kevin Hart's. Right, right. And I was there for Kevin Hart's. And I remember uh, he's having issues with this. He's having issues because I was always watching right, like from a right. technical. And uh, they like. One thing that you will never have in an arena that you have at a stadium is um, delay towers. That's, oh. So you need like special speakers for the hello, hello, hello. I was going to ask now, you now, about now. that. Wait, 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 wait. I was going to ask you to do the sound or do the jokes hit different. No, actually, everything was right on okay. right on the money, and and that's thanks to the you know you you got to have a good group. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you got like a hundred karaoke machines in there. And it doesn't <laughs> sound <laughs> Hey man, does it feel different in front of, let's say, an uh, uh, improv, an ice house? And I know it does feel different to where you're walking out. Is the timing different when you're in front of, you know, what what, what did you have tonight, 60, 70? Uh, that night it was over 50. Okay, so over is the timing different for over 50,000 people? Um, it is different because I was at the uh, improv on Melrose uh, Monday night to kind of just do it like a last. This is the last show before the special comes out. And I wanted to do something intimate. And I was actually more intimidated at that improv <laughs> because people are right on you. You know, the stage is tiny and then everyone's in the room and it's like you can hear every little thing in the room. And it had been a minute before I've, you know, since I've mm -hmm. done a show like that. How do you prep for Dodger Stadium, though? With everything being so wide, and are are you more broad, or is it more stage to cover? Like, do not you you do arenas, but there's a difference between an arena and that stadium. So my idea was instead of feeling lost on this massive stage, I wanted to have a a, a large stage that everyone can see, but I wanted to have a smaller, more intimate platform. Gotcha. So what I did was I had this thrust built. So that it kept me in this little confined gotcha. area. Hmm. So that thrust that I had for that stadium show was actually the, the normal size thrust that I perform on at, at arenas. It's, you know, I forget the dimensions, but it's basically like a, a two small cars. You know, like I want to say it's 24 feet. Could you see people smiling and laughing? Can you see that? Yes. Damn. Yeah. Do you e ever e wish that it was? We know it's you, but do you ever wish you could be in the audience and seeing what was coming next? Well, that's when I have to go and watch it on, you know, Netflix. But yeah. uh, it's it's crazy to watch myself because then I'm hearing myself. It's one thing to hear myself as I'm talking, but it's different when I'm just quiet and then I'm hearing. Do you watch I'm a watching. lot of your shows? I try not to. Yeah. If if it's a uh, like when people ask me, what's your writing process? Like I don't sit and write material out. I've never been able to do that. I, I have not. N none of my specials have ever been put pen to paper. Nothing I do is in writing. What's it's your all, creative really? process? Uh, yeah, it's all audio. So um, what about before record, we had the phones? Because you got decades. Tape with recorders, us. man. Oh, come on, old school Radio Shack. Yes. Freaking, uh, 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 what do wow. they call it? Not, not TDK Tandy. They had those uh, cassette Damn. recorders. Damn. Or the uh, would you, you always carry one, one of those portables a, a around San, too? A Sanyo. Damn. A, a Sanyo, or you know. Uh, and then also there was a point in time when I had invested and got myself a mini camcorder, and I would just set up the little tripod in the back of the club, and I would record and. I go back and watch it because I'm more visual and audio, whereas trying to uh, write or, or, you know, read something out, mm -hmm. it's it's very challenging for me. Um, I'm not illiterate. It's right, just right. I, my attention span <laughs> and just it, it becomes work. So one uh, interesting fact, I've never in my life been able to finish a book. I've never been able to read a book from beginning to end. I just cannot stick with it. I, I give up. I'll get maybe into a chapter. Wow. So I'm really good at reading articles, anything on the phone, anything that's quick, no problem. But something that requires me to invest time and just commit to it. Oh, see, I love reading books. So like anytime I would do sitcoms, you know, you have to read the whole, the whole script. And so the only reason I'm able to get through it is because we'll is do your table show? reads. No, like <laughs> Not even that. <laughs> Not even that. Uh, but because it's a, a table read, and so everyone's right. involved in their part. So then it's a, it's a moment where it's like, okay, all right, I'm just waiting for my part. Okay, okay. So I'm just listening to everything that's going on. But to actually sit and read it, it's it, it takes me a while to get through it. I just don't have the attention span, even if it's about me. 
which Damn, you know, right. something's up there. Have okay. you read? Ha, have you wrote, written the Gabriel Iglesias book yet? No, well, no. That's another, <laughs> people keep asking. I'm like, I don't even have a, a attention for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I gave up on me at the beginning. Hey, dude, like, can you imagine me reading a book like? Oh, there's no yeah. more. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> like uh, he just stopped writing. He just stopped writing. He was. Yeah, he, he was I, I've, I've been offered a few book deals, and it just it didn't make sense. I don't feel like I've had enough drama in my life to to have a book. I don't know. I feel like Mexicans. We need more drama. Really? You know, like something then happened, and then they try to kidnap them, and then the, you know, I'm just I'm just now starting well, to have little can, things where it's you like, can okay. set a lot of that up. Also, it's, it's crazy out here. <laughs> It's crazy, you know. It's, it's, it's definitely crazy out here. Believe that, man. Do you have an embarrassing moment any time in your career on or off the stage? Oh, there's been a few. Uh, I remember one time I was on stage in Houston, Texas, in the round. This is the oh. venue at the. I want to say it was called like the Verizon Theater. It's, it's, it's a basically it's it's around it's around yeah, stage so and everything. Are you around. rotating? Uh, it are was you one walking? Of the, it was one of those where they have the button where they can make it spin. Yeah. So you're like a turntable or it's static, you know? Right. And um, I was doing this bit about being on roller coasters and I went and I squatted down to pretend I was getting inside of a roller coaster and my shorts split. Ooh. And oh. it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, it was more like a pop. And so pop like a biscuit. And so like, you know, when you open up those Pillsbury, <laughs> yeah. those cans, when, when it's tight yeah. and then it's not tight and yeah. it's just like, whoa, it's just going everywhere. <laughs> that's that's what happened that night. Oh, man. And fortunately, uh, that was before cell phones and the recordings and stuff like that. So it was years gotcha. ago. Gotcha. But everyone saw. And really? so I'm like, wow. Do you bring Damn. extra shorts now? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, back then it was more so like a one nighter. Like, hey, we right. got a show in Houston. So I take a backpack and. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't take an extra pair of shorts. I figured it's just but it's, you know it's what? denim. You know, if it's uh, if it's calzones, if it's underwear or socks or you know something like that, and you take multiples. Let me but tell I'm like, you why I, asked, I can write man, these shorts. because at one point, and you know, G, I was over 500 pounds, right? So when I would travel, I would literally go to the carousel for baggage, and I would stand there and wait for my baggage to come. Because there was no way in the world I was going to go buy another pair of size 64 shorts. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So know. when your yeah. shorts pop and you don't have another, it's not like you could just go to what like one of your home. Hey, give me a, give me your shorts. I got to go out and finish this show. It's like, I'm here. You know, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm stuck. Yeah. And I was stuck in those shorts right. for the rest of the night. <laughs> right. I just had to walk tight. Yeah. You know? <laughs> How long was the set after? Oh, the set it ended very quickly right yeah, after that. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, because I mean, people were laughing for a different reason, yeah. and it's hard to follow laughter from when you're being embarrassed versus you trying to be funny. Because ah. it was nothing I could say that was going to be funnier than the fact that you know, hey, man. fluffy mm -hmm. shorts exploded, <laughs> and, and you saw parts of him you didn't think existed. You know, hey, man, do you get people that come up to you and say, "I was there"? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. There has been a few people uh, that have come up to me uh, in Houston. And other parts of Texas that said, I was there at the show where you, you split your shorts. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, you're like, you don't have no proof, though. Yeah. yeah. No, but there's no, there was no. Yeah, yeah, you know, no proof. It's all hearsay. Is it different now that, and you have a no record policy at your shows or. So here's how it works, too, no. is that like that night, I knew for a fact that at Dodger Stadium, there was no. Normally we have like, uh, we'll say, please, uh, there's a, a, a video that plays that says, please, you know, try to be in the moment, live in the moment, no recording, no videos. It's disturbing to the crowd. It's disturbing to the show. Just try to enjoy the show. And people are usually, I'd say like 90% are very mindful and really cool mm -hmm. with that. And that's why at the end of the show, I say, hey, the show's over. Take your cameras out. I'll stay on stage, uh, take whatever pictures, whatever videos, and then I'll start yeah. posing and pointing and stuff so that there's, you know, footage so you get from the, the night. moment. Yeah, but for how do you control 50,000 people? You know, I'm not going to take their phones and make that a security issue. Plus, as it is, how long would it take to put everyone's yeah. phone in a bag Imagine. and, you know, in and out? So I knew. I knew from the moment I hit the stage, this set is already out there. Someone's recording this and putting it live. It's got to be on a thousand Facebook lives. A thousand, everybody's got right. their phones out. And so... I just knew that, hey, all right, whatever happens, happens. You know, so I guarantee you that footage, the entire show's out there somewhere on someone's phone. Have and that, and that's fine. Have you had a chance, and I'm pretty sure you have, have you, you had a chance to sit down and watch Stadium Fluffy? Uh, well, I was the one, um, the editor and myself oh, so sat you watched there it. Oh. and we went through the whole thing. So, yes. Um, uh, the main thing I'm, I'm looking for in the editing process is making sure that the camera angles are okay. So like if, uh, you know, when I'm performing, I want to make sure the camera's on my face. So when I deliver something, you know, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to see the back of the head or a, a crowd shot when you're talking, you know, you want to be able to have that engaged part and wait until there's moments of like applause breaks or 
big laughter where you can pan out and show. You know, that's some the little director in my head, like Scorsese. Like I need it to, right. have a, you know, I need to feel it. I need to feel it. I need to feel. Were you, it. Did you did you always sit down with the editor? Yes, for every single shows? special. Yeah. I've gotcha. always sat there, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm not reading something. Mm-hmm. Again, letters they right. mess with me. So, but visually, I'm really good with just focusing, and I could be there all day editing. You're good on social media, man. So you are good with just popping in on social Pop media it, and popping out because that's exactly what it is, right? And I could do it from anywhere. I mean, ha- a lot. Most people don't know this, but most of my social media happens when I'm on the toilet. <laughs> I will go in my bathroom. Oh my god, I really enjoy <laughs> following you too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. TMI. No, because my uh, people say, what's your favorite place in the world to hang out? It is literally my private bathroom because I've gone out of my way to create this little environment where I could sit and be away from everyone <laughs> and no one will mess with me when I'm in the bathroom. That's I want to go in there. No yeah, one can man. knock on the door. Really? No one can come look. Because if I'm just walking around the, the building, everyone, hey, I need answers on this. What's going on with that? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, ah. And even if I'm in a private room, They'll still go and knock on the right. door. But the bathroom, everyone knows, you do not touch the door. I heard that. We're like, so, man, uh, he's been in there since Sunday. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, and in the bathroom, I have the best Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is strong in the bathroom. The Hell air conditioner is yeah. strong. The li- I can control the lights. I have, you know, my dogs are in there with me. We're just chill. I heard that. You have a chair or a couch? Wow. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, actually, I have a chair in the bathroom. Yeah? Nice. I have a chair in the bathroom, a bench. Um, I do you have, have a, a little trap door where you go down and get on a scooter and ride somewhere else? <laughs> Like, this sounds like you sound you're, like some cartel shit. You're, 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 you're joking, but I have a scooter that's next to the door. <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias in the neighborhood stadium, Fluffy in the neighborhood, man. Fluffy, Halloween is coming up. Are you gonna dress up for Halloween? Please do. My Halloween's on a Monday, and I'm, and? I'm getting up. Ah. <laughs> I mean, you, you know why I would dress up? Yeah. Uh, the only reason I would dress up would be so that I could go out and just try to be. Try to be somewhat normal for the night. Mm-hmm. So I'd try to, but the problem is, is that I have a recognizable body. And so, voice. Yeah. So <laughs> And face. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, okay. Years ago, I went to WrestleMania and uh, I had ringside seats and everybody's like, dude, they're going to mess with you. They're not going to let you enjoy the night. Everybody's going to keep coming up to you. And I said, I got an idea. So I, uh, I got a big luchador mask and I put on the luchador mask and then I, I had a cape and everything. And so I had this, you know, it was a cool little outfit. And uh, I get there thinking I'm good, and then I started hearing from behind, "We know it's you, Fluffy." Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and then it's the, someone the said, positive someone ID. Said, yeah, someone goes, "I recognize your neck." I'm yeah. like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> like, hey, I didn't know that the neck was like a form of forensics or something. Like you never, you never hey, bro, see the neck on first. Uh, even when we were masked up and everything, people were like, "Big boy." Like, hey, I noticed you by this. Uh, yeah, I'm looking back, back here. Yeah. I'm like, I, I recognize it's three folds, man. Yeah. I know it's you. Yeah. <laughs> Or people be like, Fluff, I ain't going to blow up your spot. <laughs> can, can you walk out in public, though? Uh, I, no, I mean, here in L.A., highly for sure recognizable, not. I mean, bro. I, uh, but I'm good about it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But, I noticed that. But if I was going to wear a costume, it would have to be something that's like a professional grade, like like something that you would wear at Disneyland, like one of those outfits where yeah. just you can't tell if the person's right. skinny or big, you know, and, what then, if a you're big, like and then a big head. You could be your own Funko Pop. You know what? That'd Have be cool too. One. Hey, That'd dude, I would go out as Gabriel Iglesias, and people would do like, and "Just tell that people, can't be him." Yeah, like, "Oh my God, he nailed it." Be extra, like <laughs> paint, my, paint my face with <laughs> yeah. big red cheeks. Yeah, Co- color my goatee. <laughs> the goatee. Color my goatee. Oh my God, he nailed it! Oh I guarantee God. you, dude. An if you did hat. a little bit extra, the Hawaiian shoes, yeah, and, 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 and rolled out Mess with people that, up, put oh some my eyelashes, God. some big <laughs> eyelashes, big face, blink, blink. Hey man, and you walked out. I'm pretty sure, man, you can have yourself a good night. On I some know, social media I, I stuff. I have had people that, that question. They're like, like, man, man, anybody ever tell you? Yeah. That, you know, you, yeah. you, you, you kind of look you, like. You know who you look like? All the time, man. That guy would never eat here. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy would you, never eat at this restaurant. You know who you look like? <laughs> like you know? yeah. I get it all the time, too. Or sometimes it's somebody testing the water. Like, you know who you look like? Like, it is. They oh, want oh, you to fill it in. Yeah. yeah. I knew you. I, I, knew, I knew it was Yeah. yeah. Or, or, or I get that all the time. i will be like, it's me. Yeah, can't get this for free. No, it's free. <laughs> Gavin and Iglesias in the neighborhood. Once again, extremely proud of you, man. Great work. Characters, what's being said about you when you're not in the room, and you always had great character, bro. And I really appreciate you always checking back in with us. And for real, man, watching you go out at Dodger Stadium, man, that was, I know it was something for you, but it was something for us. It was something for me. And being a fan first 
and watching how much you have accomplished. And I don't mean like accomplished, like, oh, he got a car, I got this. I'm just talking about being so true to your craft and being so on point when everybody's trying to knock people off their square right now. And you continue to be so great, brother. And I thank you for your time. And I thank you for the light that you shine and your positivity in a crazy place that we're living mm-hmm. in now. So thank you, G. Thank appreciate you. It. Man, I appreciate you, brother. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you That was it. awkward. No, no, it was. <laughs> no, we just had a, I just thought. I, we, no, we, I thought you was having a stare contest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my competitive side kicked in. Like, are, we, are we doing this? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what was are going on. I don't know what was happening. All right, we're, Kevin, we're, place is the fluffy yeah, one. Tender in, moment there. No. Yeah, man. In the neighborhood, man. Stadium Fluffy is now available on Netflix. Yes. Right there. It was part of Netflix as a joke, man. Thank you so much, G, for coming into the neighborhood. Thank you. There it is. I'll look away. There it is. Be your neighborhood.